and Mary Prophet, and Michael was good enough to ask some of my opinions about things. To introduce myself, I'm part of CTA uh, Peace and Justice Caucus co-chair. I'm on the steering committee of U.S. Labor Against the War. I'm on the steering committee of Labor Committee for Peace and Justice. I used to be part of Women for Peace, but the point is that I bring a convergence of educational issues and peace issues. And I forgot to mention, but I was also part of Education Not Incarceration for about seven years, and I was one of the people who helped it start. But anyway, it's, you know, uh, this is an opportunity here in Sacramento to really start building alliances with parents, which is what's happening inside there, but also with other labor unions. Um, the uh, ILWU, Oakland, sorry, and I'm part of Oakland Education Association. Um, Oakland Education Association and the ILWU in Oakland work together really well. Um, and that, you know, that's a beginning. But did it, um, oh, did, did, oh, go ahead, I'll take a close-up of your button there. Did, did um, any of you guys from uh, Oakland go and, uh, and support the longshoremen in their, uh, their recent blockades of the um, Oakland shipping? We were prime among the people who helped shut it down. And, you know, we got there at 5 o'clock in the morning, some of us. But anyway, the point of this button is that the only way we're really going to get anywhere is for all of us workers to unite and to go on a general strike. Um, there was one in Oakland, um, which was really exciting, in 1947. I'm sorry I'm bad about dates. But I've seen pictures. I didn't know about it at the time, because I was just a wee one. But I've seen pictures. What happened, the trolleys came into downtown Oakland and stopped because there were people in the streets picketing. That caused, it ended up causing almost a total shutdown of the city of Oakland downtown area. And this was the last general strike in uh, North America, I believe. Yes, it was. And, um, you know, it was, it was sort of neat because you saw in those days, of course, people dressed differently, but, you know, ladies you know, some of the cons clerks with their hats and their high heels. Um, and, but the point was, it was really, it started small. It was just going to be a strike by these uh, retail workers. And then it expanded. And uh, as I say, having the trolley cars block downtown Oakland was amazing. And the trolley car operators got out. They went and um, they joined the crowd. And in fact, I've heard people speak who were part of that whole process. But you know, that's the kind of thing we have to do. 